With a bitter cold we've had, fireplaces are pretty popular this week. But doctors will tell you it can also send a child to the hospital with serious burns. Doctors at UW Health say it happens all too often and they want you to know how to prevent it. News reporter Dave Delosier is here with more on how this happens, Dave. Eric and Michelle, what we're primarily talking about here are gas fireplaces with glass fronts. And that glass is what causes the problem for young children. Faster than you can imagine, a warm and cozy fireplace can result in a trip to the burn unit. He was, he was an active little guy and curious. In other words, one-year-old Trent was a normal little boy learning to walk and wanting to explore. When his family was visiting friends, one minute Trent was in front of the Christmas tree, and the next, he was in front of the gas fireplace. I looked over and he was just, both hands were flat on the glass of the fireplace, and he was looking at me just wide-eyed and screaming. They rushed Trent to the emergency room at UW Hospital with second degree burns on both hands. You can only imagine what that's like for a one year old. It's horrible. Because you don't know. You just, you don't know what you're dealing with. Oh, well, just a tremendous amount of pain. Um, we all know what a small blister on our palms feel like from shoveling snow or, or maybe even touching the pizza pan. Uh, but imagine that being over the entire palm. Dr. Lee Fauché treated Trent for his burns, but if you think this type of accident is rare, think again. We see 20 to 25 kids every year with this type of injury. And when the weather turns cold... We did happen to take care of a couple of children today who suffered the same type of injury. It happens most often to children between the ages of 10 to 15 months of age. They are just learning to walk, and if they use their hands to balance themselves against the glass... This happens in less than a second. Did you get to do show and tell today? Trant is now five and has made a full recovery. And while the fireplace now burns in their home, it has a protective barrier on it to prevent burns. Now, to prevent these types of injuries, the Consumer Product Safety Commission requires all new gas fireplaces and fireplace heaters to now come with a protective barrier. And if you own a model that doesn't already have a protective barrier, you can get one that, you know, retrofit one to it. But Eric and Michelle, if you've got a young child that's coming over to your home, you can also just turn that fireplace off while yeah. they're there. Yeah. We Certainly. Had, good we had information. Yeah. Had a good three or four years where we didn't get to use the fireplace with yeah. little ones around the house. Good you advice. Dave, thanks. You bet.